hello there how are you doing today and welcome welcome to the four challenge overcoming procrastination how is it going are you learning something i hope you are learning something and you are beginning to understand what the point i'm trying to drive home you can overcome procrastination and start taking baby steps towards your goals and your dreams and that's why this challenge was made so let me know send me an email let me know how it's going with you so today we are going to talk about setting your baby step goals i want you to set your baby step goals in fact as you are listening to this audio i want you to take a pen and paper and start setting your baby step goals how are we going to do this so from day one you listed five things that you really want to in your life or five results that you need in your life five goals that you are expecting to see in your life or let's say five good things that you want to experience in your life so go and look at that list let it be close to you now day two we also look at you killing your excuses i try to make you become aware of all your excuses so that you can deal with them i hope it worked for you yes i know you felt uncomfortable but as i told you something is going to shift for you day three we talk about you finding a way so with the examples that i gave you can apply those examples to so many other excuses that you come up with to find a way now we are going to set our baby step goals you see it's not easy to develop a habit habit takes a very long time to happen especially the negative ones and you 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 don't expect to break your negative habits in just one day it will take some long time the same way you develop that habit negative habit is the same way you have to start developing the positive habit every day so you know the way habits every day that the things we do every day brings about our habits so the same way if you now want to cancel the negative habit you start to you now you start you have to start doing uh, or exhibiting positive habits that will cancel the negative habits every blessed day and this is what where i want to get you to so i want you to set goals so let's say in defining the way you've listed your what you want you've listed your excuses and then you've now realized that you can find a way example again maybe you you say you don't have time to chase a goal or to follow through to a goal because of time or money and i gave example that you can tell there's finding a way go and ask the cost of something sometimes we don't even ask that we don't know the cost of doing something we just assume or put yourself on a personal timetable that will guide the way you use your time make a thorough search of how do i use my time every day now if you're able to do that and you find out okay i've asked i've um i've found i went to find out of the price of how to get my book down or whatever it is so what's the next step the next step is now for me to come and think and ask myself how can i raise the money to do this and that these are questions that we don't ask ourselves you see anytime you ask yourself questions the the answers are inside of you so when you ask yourself the question, get a pen, get a paper and start writing anything that comes to your mind, just write it. How can I raise money from so, so and so the other for this project or for this dream, the other thing I've realized is that we only have one source of income and that's why you have to learn how you can multiply your skills, your potential, your experience to earn other sources of income so that you can get money to do the other things that you want to do so don't only think that your salary is the only way that you can raise money to achieve your dreams you can use your experience your potential your giftings to raise money that is what you have to start sometimes when i'm coaching women and we are on this area where we are trying to extract our expertise and use it for something that people can pay us for it's amazing how we have so much gold in us but we never know that we have gold in us so i want you to write down 
five ways I can use to earn money so that I can use that money to achieve this particular goal. And I also, if your excuse was time, I want you to write down. Now I'm going to schedule myself, put myself on timetable. Okay, now with these two examples I've given, set like three goals that you are going to do right now. And I don't want you to wait. That's one of the things that bring procrastination. Don't wait. Whilst you are listening to this audio and you've identified your excuses, you've been able to find a way to cancel those excuses and you know what you really want to experience in 2023 by December 2023, you know your new year resolution and all that from January 2023, I want you to set three goals and these goals, I want you to set them very, very small. Like something like the first step is that I'm going to make a phone call and call somebody and ask about this. Or the second one is that I'm going to list all my activities in the day and see which one is taking so much of my time. That is a goal. That is something you have done. And I want to see you to celebrate yourself. Now, the next stage, we'll move on to the next stage tomorrow when we are going to talk about accountability. But right now, those three or five goals that you've been able to set, that number one, I'm going to make a phone call and ask. Number two, I'm going to put myself on a timetable. Before then, let me list all the way, when I wake up in the morning, what do I do? I brush my teeth, I bath, I go to work. When I come back from work, how do I spend my time? So you list all those things. Okay, I noticed that I watch too much TV. Can I reduce my TV to one hour instead of two hours or i notice that i spend too much time on social media when i go on tiktok i can spend two hours on tiktok girl no 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 you have to do something about it so you say okay i'm going to reduce from now on when i go on tiktok i would just spend one hour i'm going to reduce it i'm not going to spend all i'm not going to watch people's status for 30 minutes or 50 in fact I'm not going to watch people's status at all. Or you can say that on Mondays, I'm not going to do this. On Tuesdays, I'm not going to do that. That is a goal for you. 